Traditionally, our generation was done using large generators that delivered a lot of power at a single location. That power is transmitted throughout the country on large power lines at high voltages, and those lines do a great job of getting power across the country and closer to the actual loads, but they only get power so far, and we need power all the way to the consumer. To do that, we run the power through those high voltage power lines, through a distribution substation and a step down transformer, to medium voltage distribution lines, into neighborhoods, and all the way to the consumer, so that we can charge our phones and use our blenders. So if the purpose of the power system is to get power to the consumer, why don't we just generate power close to the consumer? Well, that is essentially what DER is. DER stands for Distributed Energy Resources, and it is defined as a small electric resource connected to the distribution grid. So obviously generation like rooftop solar, small cogeneration plants, batteries, and a combination of these and a microgrid are classified as DER. But there are other things most people consider DER as well, including electric vehicles and demand response, which gives the electric company control of your water heater or air conditioner so that they can turn it off when they need the extra resources. Some people even consider energy efficiencies like changing all your light bulbs to LED as DER. So in two minutes, we learned that the concept of DER is putting resources close to the consumer and some specific examples of DER are generation, storage, microgrids, electric vehicles, demand response, and even energy efficiency.